sites. While they line some of the busiest borderland streets, huge lots filled with busted, broken, and unwanted vehicles. But beyond the mangled metal, there's more left behind in the wreckage that could give you headaches for years to come. KFOX 14 News at 9's Jillian Fertig shows us how your identity could be stolen from a junkyard in tonight's KFOX 14 special assignment. You might want to be careful what kind of personal information you leave in your car because it could end up here. This is a pile of personal information I found inside cars in one day at Black's Auto Salvage in Las Cruces. But let's start from the beginning. The FBI says 15 million people a year fall victim to identity theft in the United States alone. According to the Texas and New Mexico Attorneys General's websites, all a thief needs is a few personal documents to steal your identity. I found credit cards, money. I found birth certificates. I've even found social security cards. I found everything, everything but maybe the kitchen sink. Gary Bradley has been a tow truck driver for 30 years. He estimates about 90% of the cars he tows have personal information in them. Information he says a lot of owners never even come back to pick up. By the time I get it to by the time it gets to the junkyard, you've probably had four to ten people go through it, maybe even more. Who knows? If you get somebody in this business that's a crook, they could have a field day with identity theft. Oh, all their bills, phone bills, light bills. Uh, I found a car with a whole family's birth certificates in it the other day. Tom Black owns this salvage yard. He says he's been collecting and destroying personal information for years that owners abandoned with their vehicles. KFOX 14 decided to dig through some cars in the junkyard with employee Tracy Sutherland. First, we went through this Saturn. We have mail with a personal address. Looks like a bill of some sort. Then we headed to the back of the junkyard. Let's see what's in there. I mean, you see they, they've left stuff back here in the back. And here we go. Registration. Everything is in this vehicle. Wow. And you know, here's their ID. They're uh, Lee, Lee Molina. After this red car, we went through this SUV. Insurance policy, we know a Harold Morris is the one that owns this vehicle. Next was this Suburban. There you go. We found some pills. We've got a name. He has W-2s on a... Right, that's what I'm thinking for your tax stuff. Ta ta yeah. Right there's a lot of information. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, that's probably got a social security number and everything on it. Then this oh, van. Can we take a peek? Go ahead. You can look all through it. A total of 10 cars, and more than half of them had some personal documents with sensitive information. All right, here's a look at some of the things that we found in cars today. Medication. Found three pill bottles. An ID badge with access to the hospital. Receipts that have all kinds of addresses on them bank slips. After three hours of digging through the junkyard, we tracked down two of the people whose papers we found. We found some things in a car that used to belong to you. Uh, we found uh, your vehicle registration. Uh, we also found your insurance cards, uh, which is how we found where you live because it had your address on it. Oh, scary. Lee Molina says she lended the car to a man years ago and never knew where it ended up. Is it kind of scary knowing that this kind of information was out there and anybody could have found it? It is. I'm sure glad it was you guys and not somebody else. Well, I guess I just want to make sure that uh, this gets back I in the right hands. I appreciate hand. you guys so much. Next, we found Harold Morris. Okay. And uh, we found this inside of your summit. And it's uh, your insurance information. Yes, yes. And it's got a lot of personal information with your address. Okay. It was a similar story for Morris. He sold his vehicle months ago and had forgotten all about it. Whether you're in a wreck or decide to sell your car, employees at Black's Auto Salvage say they hope this story serves as a cautionary tale. I don't think you should have anything in your car that's going to give away your identity, so to speak. And if you do, as soon as you get out of the hospital or even out of jail or wherever you happen to go, 
You need to go to the impound yard and get all your personal stuff. Jillian Fertig, KFOX 14 